Camera rolling. Speed. Recording. Action. All right, man. And to wrap all of this shit up, I'm going to talk about myself. This is pretty much just an open letter to myself. Um, Roger Ward. You done been on a hell of a journey, my boy. Uh, nothing has went how you planned it. <laughs> you feel me? Like, nothing has went how you planned it at all. Had I had it, you know, my way or our way, you know, in a sense, uh, right now, I'd probably be paying in one of those NFL games that's on TV right now for Christmas. But... Nothing in life really go your way. You know what I'm saying? You just got to learn on the fly and make adjustments. And I feel like we done did that perfectly. From, you know, you growing up and, and, and transferring to different schools and being in different environments. And, you know, one thing remained the same the whole time. And that was you was fighting everywhere you went, <laughs> whether it was McDonough Elementary, whether it was uh, Mount Zion Elementary, whether it was Kitty Cottage Academy, whether it was Bear Creek. Man, look, we was fighting all over the place, man. And it was because we always felt like we had something to prove. Uh, we felt like we was, you know, misunderstood. We felt like we was unaccepted. All because, you know, I talked a little different or, uh, you know, we was insecure about our shoulder, you know what I'm saying, being broken and uh, it being shorter than the other arm and people making jokes about our anger management issues. And it was just a lot that we went through, man. But we here now. Uh, damn, man. I just feel like we learned so much along the way, you know what I'm saying? As far as like when we went to Maryville and when we got into that situation where, uh, the white kid was calling us a nigga and we felt like we had to prove ourselves. So we hit the nigga over the head with a helmet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it could have been a, a felony, but luckily, you know what I'm saying? God kind of favored us through that situation as well. And then we came home, had to regroup, work with our dad for a little while. Then after that, we went to Tennessee Chattanooga, went there for about a year, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, came back home to the most stressful time of our life. Uh, everybody was going through things, but we, you know, maneuvered through that, ended up going to Kennesaw, getting our life back together. And here we are now about to move to Phoenix. I don't know why, like we decided to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time somebody asks me, I always give a different answer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I give a different answer to why I'm moving to Phoenix every single time. Because, honestly, it's a combination of all of those things. It's the fact that it's a different vibe. Everybody was active. I felt that home. Uh, I loved what I was seeing. I just loved the area. But... um. Besides all of that, bro, I just want to tell you that you are way more fearless, you know what I'm saying, than you think. Uh, a lot of people pull inspiration from you, which is crazy. I never thought that I would be, you know what I'm saying, inspirational to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always felt like you had to be either that at football or you had to be that when it came to school or like you just had to be like the man in order to be inspirational you know what i'm saying and it's just like i was never any of that like i was never you know what i'm saying the best football player i was never the best anything i was just myself you know what i'm saying like i was just myself the whole entire time and i'm just so grateful for the journey bro because we've been through so much like we've been through everything like <laughs> It's been so many different times where I wanted to just say, like in 2015, bro, we were so suicidal. 
You know what I'm saying? Like we had literally planned our death out, and that shit go against what my mama had said. Because think about if we did that, shit, bro. we would have let her down because she came to us and she said she felt like she had a second chance. You know what I'm saying? When we was born, and you know, had we decided to go through with that decision, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we would have, we would have came up short. So, uh. I just want to say thank you, bro, for never, for never, ever giving up on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, through the rain, through the pain, through the storms, and all the other bullshit that we went through, bro. I'm grateful for it because it led us right here to this very moment. You know what I'm saying? It was so many different times where we could have just chose a different route. Like, we got so many friends that didn't make it. We got so many different friends that chose different paths and different routes, you know, some people that we looked up to that took a totally different route than what we went to, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, bro, it's better this way, you know what I'm saying? Like, we found peace along the way, you know what I'm saying? We found ourselves along the way. We discovered that we intelligent, you know what I'm saying? We discovered that we like books and we like yoga and we got, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry for my words, but we love reading. You know what I'm saying? We love vegan food. and We can up some vegan food, but we eat Caesar kale salads, vegan kale salads all day. <laughs> you feel me? Like, but on the most serious note, man, I'm proud of you. I'm thankful for you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm loving where you headed, bro, because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It took a lot to get here. And I'm glad that we're here because, like I said, we've been through so much. Everything we ever been through led us to this moment right here. So I would never go back and change anything. Even if I had the opportunity, even if somebody paid me, I wouldn't change a thing, bro. Because for the first time in my life, bro, like when I look in the mirror, like I'm so proud of myself and I love myself so much. I'm so thankful for who I became and who I'm still becoming, like who I've grown into. I'm just so thankful for that because we made that decision for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't let anybody, you know, steer us down the wrong path. We stayed with tunnel vision no matter what, you know what I'm saying, situation we was in. We always knew that it was going to be light at the end of the tunnel, bro. So I'm thankful for you. And I'm so glad that you didn't decide to go through with that decision in 2015 because it would have all been in vain. So thank you, bro. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much more on the other side that we still got to get to. But I'm thankful to be in this spot. Right here on this couch telling you, you know what I'm saying, that I love you. And I'm thankful for you, bro, because we've been through so much. Like, we done been through it all. We not done going through it. But at the same time, I'm proud of the progress. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep going, bro. Like, let's take this to another level that they ain't never seen before. When I said next level, and when I said by any means, I meant that shit. So, like I said, man, before it get too emotional for me and I got to go. You know what I'm saying? Stop myself. I'm going to end right here by saying I love you. I thank you. And I cannot wait to see, you know what I'm saying, what's next for us. You know what I'm saying? What's next for you. So let's keep going. Bro. Let's keep doing it. We cannot stop here. Let's keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is on God. Ain't got no time to waste. 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 Me and my brothers gon' ball. Got no time to waste. Me and my brothers gon' ball. Ain't got no time to waste. Started my morning on time today. Ain't got no time to play. She calling me early. I ain't even up. Ain't got no time to day. In love my ways. I'm paving the way. Yeah, let me demonstrate. No cow, we run by faith. No cow, we run by faith. Time to waste. I started my morning on time today. Ain't got no time to play. She calling me early and ain't even up. Ain't got no time today. In love with my ways, I'm paving the way. Roll the camera, man. Roll the camera. Roll the camera. Roll. Pinky up, brother. Pinky up. That's a good cheer right there, boy. Hey, man, we behind the scenes right now. We uh. 
We got some special cooking up. Shout out Neva, shout out John. Shout out little bro over there. Shout out Daryl Ballard. We cooking it up, man. As, you know, as you can see, my budget cut the light on me. I'm looking too good. You feel me? I just shaved, I just lined myself up. Come on, come on, look close. Come on. Yeah, 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 get that right there. Yeah, I'm a good side. You know what I mean? Got my jewelry on, it's from Target. You know what I mean? <laughs> Target, baby. Target. Wait, as a matter of fact. Pinky up, Target. As a matter of fact. My jewelry's from Target. 